So here we have some beach woolly aphids, beach blight aphids. This one's called dancing aphids, and I'll give you a reason why. I'm gonna butt the blow on them, and you can see them dancing. These are hosted by beech trees, which is what this one's on. And they have this little woolly stuff above them, but they can also uh, give mild stings which protect them from a lot of different kinds of insects. Having said that, they also exude a fair amount of, uh, of aphid honeydew, and that usually allows a mold to grow underneath or on the branch itself. And that uh, is something that's very popular with lots of animals. It's very sweet. I even heard about people even sipping it. But uh, it's very, very sweet to the point that yellow jackets, wasps, and things like that like to come to it. This is the larval host to our only predatory butterfly caterpillar, the harvester. The harvester loves to eat these things. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to scan the branch a little bit and see if I see any. That would be so cool as I've not seen a harvester caterpillar before but looks like uh, again they remain elusive to me very neat insects suck the juice out of the uh, beech tree and um, protect themselves by having these little uh, sticky uh, cottony things in their back clumping together waving around and then ultimately they would sting multiple times anything that comes near it doesn't hurt people so I can show you but um, but it is uh, something that protects against some other things Woolly beach blight aphids are the dancing aphids. I'm gonna blow on them again. Doing their boogie woogie dance. Sometimes they're called boogie woogie aphids. Very, very cool. First day of September, 2015, Arlington, Virginia, on a beach tree. I hope you get a decent look at them.